What do we really need in schools? We need competition. What we have is a monopoly, and like every monopoly, it's producing a low-quality product at a very high cost. The way to improve that is to have competition, to make it possible for parents to have a choice of the schools their children attend. All high-income people have that choice now. They can move to, they can choose their residence New for a place with good go schools. To private schools and or so. they can send their children to private schools, pay twice for schooling, once in taxes and once in tuition. Milton didn't, but the lower income classes can't. They're stuck. Milton, didn't public schools used to work? Yes. When what I graduated happened? from high school in 1928, there were 150,000 school districts in this country. Today there are 15,000 and the population is twice as great. In the early days, you had local control of schools, and there was effective competition between a large number of local areas. But school districts got consolidated. They got run not by local people, but by the professional educators. And most important of all, in the 1960s, you began to have the emergence of, of teachers' unions taking control of schools. And since 1960, since the teachers' unions started emerging, you have had, a, on the whole, a rather steady decline in the quality of schooling. What well, is it about the If unions? you want to improve automobiles, right? do you have government step in and tell, tell people what brakes to put on and so on, or do you rely on the fact that General Motors is going to try to beat Ford, is going to try to beat Toyota? Competition is the most effective way to improve quality, whether in computers, in automobiles, in suits, or in schooling. 